This is Leo. Here he is. Say hello. It's puppy week this week, which is going to be a huge week. I'm so looking forward to it. It's only Wednesday and I'm just counting down the days till we go and pick up Leo. Leo is going to be our brand new little puppy. Oh, come here. Come here, you. Leo is technically my mum's dog. This is Duke, if you don't know. He's my puppy, technically. I mean, because I travel a lot and I'm on shoots for a lot of days and things like that, my mum does help me look after him. But in the past couple of months when we've been at home all the time, um, obviously she hasn't. And it has been something that we've all been thinking about for a couple of years. Loads of my friends have like multiple dogs and it just <laughs> looks like so much fun. I love dogs. We've always had a dog, haven't we? we I actually had a Doberman, which is like the opposite of Duke, <laughs> for years before but then there was a bit of a gap in between and I thought I'd try something different I mean I looked after my friend's Pomeranian every time she went away and I just fell in love with them they're such cheeky little characters and they're so naughty and they're so cute Duke is seven now and he's really he's so cheeky when he's not half asleep like he is now this heat is really getting to him Look at you, you're so tired. I think Leo's gonna be a similar colouring to Duke, really. He looks like how Duke looked when he was a puppy. And I've been thinking this week about how much work having a puppy is. And now is actually a really good time, I guess, because we're all at home so much more and stuff to be able to train. But honestly, when I got Duke and I was trying to work at the same time, oh my gosh, I remember that so well. Thinking that I'd made a huge mistake because he was so attention seeking. I'm just gonna curl my hair as we have a little chat. I'm actually really excited for my mum. I, I don't know if she's gonna be as strict as she should be. She was never really that strict with Duke. She definitely wasn't strict with my sister and I growing up. It's just not her personality really. Um, so I think my sister and I will have to step in and be the kind of um, disciplinarians with the dog. But hopefully having Duke already, that will maybe teach Leo to like, I don't know, pee outside and all those other things that you kind of want your dog to do. The sitting and the lying down and stuff like that's all fun to be able to train them. But the only thing I use with him on a daily basis is like go outside. So he goes outside, leave. That's really good if he like smells something grim on the street, on the road that someone's thrown up and I say leave, he'll leave it. The other day he went up to a baby in her pram and she was like quite low and I was like leave and he just walked away. So that, things like that I'd like to teach Leo as well, which are actually like really useful. Um, and obviously come in the park and you know, that kind of stuff. But we'll start with the basics, I think. I just remember how much of my day was spent cleaning up Duke's pee and poo <laughs> in the house. You'd like walk into a bathroom and be like, oh great, there's a poo here. <laughs> so <laughs> my mum's in for a real treat, I think looking after Leo now but that comes with the territory of having a having a new pup but they're so worth it I mean I say that the past couple nights Duke has been throwing up but I think it's because it's too hot so I'm gonna try something new with him and see if he doesn't be sick I've been experimenting over the past week and it's not his food it must be the heat anyway I'm quite excited for Leo I'm gonna go with my mum pick him up maybe this weekend I think and um, kind of prepare the house and get loads of little things for him that we need. I mean, they're so small when they're born that you can't really like, I remember struggling to find a collar for Duke because it was just so, so tiny. Like I couldn't find a harness or a collar that worked for him for ages because he was just so, so small. I think I ended up getting a kitten one <laughs> because he was so tiny. I mean, he literally fit in the in my hands like this and I have quite small hands like he literally fit in there so I think Leo is going to be around the same size oh have I had lipstick on my teeth this entire time sorry if I have how distracting it is the most beautiful sunny day and I have all the windows open but it's so hot I'm like sweating it's like 27 28 degrees today and I've done a bit of a nice natural makeup I just use my Dyson corral to cut my hair I'm wearing these new necklaces actually, which are really beautiful. They're from Daisy. They have these amazing, sexy women on them. Gorgeous women's bodies. They're beautiful. 
Look at that. I love them. I love the chains as well. I think they sit really nicely together. So I've got those two on. Um, you probably just saw the close up of my nails. I need to redo my nails now. This is the only gel polish I've been wearing. This is from Red Carpet Manicure. I'll show you the set in a sec because it's a great set. I mean, my nails have not broken. They've lasted really long. I do have to end up redoing them like once every seven or eight days, which is a bit annoying, but it lasts much better on me than polish does. So I'm just opening my curtains. Eee, they're quite heavy. And um, yeah, it lasts much better on me than polish does. And my nails don't break from them, which is great. I mean, one broke, but it was broken before I put my gels on. And then the gels just kind of prolonged it. It's 12 and I forgot to wash my teeth. Is anyone else home by themselves and forgets to brush their teeth? Like, is that really disgusting? Or is that just me? I mean, it is just probably just me and it is probably really disgusting. But I haven't spoken or seen anyone today and I literally took my dog outside at five in the morning. So, <laughs> I totally forgot to brush my teeth. Let me put you down there and we can do my lipstick together. Charlotte Tilbury, C. Tilbs. Oh, this is a bit out of action wasn't really a fan of the lipstick I was wearing before anyway. So, shall we do this little Dior, nice orangey one. I feel like that would go really nicely with my outfit today, actually. There we go. Mmm, it's gorgeous. This is an addict, Stella. They're really balmy. Can you hear that plane? It feels really close, doesn't it? Right listening to my music oh it's a vibe in my headphones right now let's do these nails because they are in desperate need you know what I found in the beginning is that I would do all my nails at once and that would take around two hours and then some started to chip and annoy me more than others I actually find it so much easier when I do two or three or four at a time because I get way less bored and then they're actually better I know so many of you have been asking about the colour I use. It's Beach Queen from the Red Carpet Manicure set. I got this beginner's gel kit which has been amazing. I haven't really needed anything else. The only thing I got were these um, pads to remove your uh, gel polish. But you really don't need those. You can do tinfoil and cotton pads. I'm obsessed with this kit. If you're doing your own gels at home or you're looking for a set, I would highly recommend it. It was quite expensive. I think it was around £100. Um, but it does come with everything you need. You don't really need that much else. And I probably used this polish for about four sets of nails. So it has lasted really well. And I'm, I don't think I'm near the end of it even. postman just came and gave me a delivery it's a loan for a dual project I'm doing that I need to sign for and I had these on my thumbs and he was like please can you sign and I was like I got my pen and I was like yes with my like silver foil on and I was like signing like that and he looked at me like I was insane All right, my nails are done. <laughs> Two of them done, the stump and the not stump. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just making lunch, I just put lunch on. And I wanted to unbox these Dior pieces with you because even though I have to return them, um, they're on loan for a project. I get so excited about new jewelry that I'll do it with you and show you what's inside. I get a lot of questions about working with luxury brands and as you know, I recently got this um, Dior ring. I bought it full price with my own hard-earned pennies and it's one of my absolute favorite rings. It's from their Rose Devon collection. And I think my top kind of like recommendation or tip as a lifestyle vlogger would be to stay true to yourself. I think like this, for example, Dior are sending me pieces from the range that they know that I wear and that I spend with my own money and I buy. This is the first one, which I'm dying for this necklace and I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. It's my birthday in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna just want everything and it's gonna be the top of my wish list now. They do really well from loaning me things because I always end up buying them, so. 
Anyway, this is the matching necklace to my ring. And this ring is one of my favorites because if you look here closely, it has a little smiley face on the moon. You can see it much bigger on the necklace and then a smiley face on the sun as well. If anyone knows any brands that do similar, let me know because this is honestly some of my absolute favorite jewelry. These are stunning. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. They are the Rose Devant earrings. Look at that. Wow, it's so beautiful and it has a little pink on the back, which is stunning. When I went into Dior, I wanted basically this version, but in a ring. And when I saw the sun and the moon, I loved how, even though this is reversible and you can just have the plain pink on the other side, I loved how the sun and the moon, you could wear it both and both were so detailed. Let's put these on and see what they're like. Oh, they're gonna be amazing and I'm gonna want them. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm actually wearing a Dior earring today. Oh, that's so beautiful. And then in here, I also have a ring. This is really similar to my ring, but this is not the kind of sun moon. This is more classic, so it has black on one side and then the star on the other side. I don't know what size this is, but I think it might be a bit big. Oh no, that's good for my middle finger. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. This is gonna be an issue. It's going to be an issue in that I will want everything. Oh dear. And then lastly, we have a bracelet. This was actually one of my favorites, but they don't do this in the ring, which I was quite gutted about because I absolutely love the blue. I think that turquoise is incredible. So hopefully they'll do it in a ring soon. And let me put on this stunning bracelet. Oh my gosh. That's what I think I want for my birthday, it's so pretty. My wish list is absolutely in all this. Just when you thought I couldn't wear any more jewelry, I'm wearing one, two, three, four necklaces. It's <laughs> Leo day today, I'm so excited. I just went on a morning run. It did, wasn't very good today, I had a stitch for like 10 minutes of my run, which is like the maximum I can even run, so <laughs> that was that. I ran, I think it was like 4.7k? The point seven really matters. I'm gonna make myself some pancakes, some hard and pancakes. I think I'm gonna make potato flour pancakes because they're like really chewy and nice. And then um, get ready to meet Leo. You have no idea what's happening today, do you, puppy? How weird, I just got this Apple Watch and it says my sister's FaceTime videoing me. I didn't even <laughs> realize. Hold on. Good morning. Wait, quick question. Yeah. The the brown bag ones. I thought you were calling me because it's Leo Day. I got really excited. Yeah, Leo Day. Leo Day. Woo! Okay, see you later. Bye. Right, I'm making my pancakes, heating this guy up. I don't really have much of a recipe. I'll be honest with you. I literally wing it every single time. So every single time they're different, but. I do find a huge thing that helps is this pan, which I'll link down below. It's the best pan, you can get it from Amazon, um, but it's the best non-stick pan. <sighs> I have jitters today, I have weird butterflies of how this day is gonna be, but I'll talk to you in a sec. Let me make my pancakes, because I'm actually really hungry. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby. Burn baby, burn. Don't burn, just look all crispy and nice. I genuinely just found myself saying, I don't know what to wear to meet a dog. <laughs> I'm like weirdly really stressing out about this more than I should be. But I should probably leave soon. Um, go and pick up Leo. I'm leaving Duke here and I'm not sure if I'm going um, to let them meet today. I'll decide that in the car, I think. It's weird because I haven't actually got in the car for months, <laughs> literally two months. I've been on my scooter if I needed to go anywhere. Um, anyway, this is what I chose to wear to meet a dog. I don't think it's an appropriate outfit, but I, I chucked it on. <laughs> I felt like we're dressing up for the first time of like probably leaving the house and getting in the car. So got this little two piece on. It's a Love Shack fancy two piece. And um, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna stick with this. <laughs> Wonder what shoes I should wear, hold on. Nobody look at my toes there. Horrific! Oh. Um, shoes, 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 trainers. I think I drive better in trainers, to be honest. So maybe trainers, maybe these. Oh. All these memories kind of keep coming back to me about Duke as a puppy. And I just remember him as a puppy, like he didn't cry once. He didn't cry once 
did you? Like not in the night, never. And I did feel like it took so long to get used to him. And like, now I know if he's panting, like if he's thirsty or if he's panting excited. And like, I know by the way he walks, if he's <laughs> got a poo, I know by the way he sits on my bed, if he wants to get down, like, so many little things that I think took months and months of getting used to that I kind of forgot about. So this will be really interesting. And I kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of remembering all the things about puppies that take so much training and so much getting used to until they become like your dog. Like in the beginning of Duke, I remember thinking like, okay, now what do I do with this dog? <laughs> this is really weird and scary. And like, I'm now looking after this thing and like, I don't feel that connected to it and I don't know what he wants. And and that took maybe like six months of being with him like all the time to know him so well. So let's see how this goes. All those emotions are like coming back to me now. I'm kind of nervous. So it's time for me to go now. You're gonna look after yourself, aren't you? Yes, I love you. Kiss. <laughs> if you say kiss, he licks you. Two snacks for the road, Livia's Dunks and my favourite chocolate hazelnut biscuit. Hello. Oh, hello, sleepy head. Hello. You're going to wake up oh. now. Oh my god. I gave him a little bit of food, but they didn't really eat Oh, he's so clever. We'll take a work here. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> Him. This is Leo. He's 10 weeks old. Let me close the door. And when he was born, he weighed 80 grams. He has three siblings, and he was the smallest of the four. Oh, where are you going, Bubba? Where are you going? Come here. Say hello. Hold on. <laughs> Say hello. Hello! I can hold him in one hand. Let's put you down here. There you go. There you go. Little pup. What's up? How do we see you? Here we go. Hello, little puppy. What are you doing? You're very small. Look at him on the size of my lap. He's literally the size of my hand. We're officially in London. And I've just pulled over because we're going to go to the park first. I was kind of deciding, oh first of all actually I should tell you how he was on the journey. He was totally fine. He reminds me of Duke in that way that he just kind of gets on with it. Like he wasn't sick, he didn't cry, he just went to sleep really. Um, halfway through I kind of stopped to give him some water. I just gave him some more now because he was panting a bit and being a bit thirsty. But this, here he is. Say hello. Say hello, cheeky monkey. And we're gonna go, well, I was kind of debating if he should meet Duke today or if he should meet him another day, but actually he seems really chilled and Duke isn't good with like hyper puppies. So I think today might be a good day. He might be a bit more energized tomorrow. I don't really know if this is his personality or this is just him today because there's been a lot of like back and forth and car journeys and stuff. So I think today might be a good day for them to meet. <laughs> and let's see what this is like. Look at him. Oh. Oh. What is it like being this cute? Huh? And when he licks me, his tongue is like this small. So like, look at the size of his nose. Like his tongue is so small that it's just, his licks feel like the best thing you could ever feel on your body. It's unbelievable. Isn't it? Oh. Tail's wagging. Hi, Dookie. How was your day? Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. This is Leo. Okay. No interest in each other. Do you come? So far in the park, not much seems to be happening with these two, to be honest. Absolutely nothing. And Hannah's coming now and everyone's gonna come and meet Leo. Oh my gosh, he's actually walking. Yeah. He literally hasn't moved this entire time. 
Try to do it again. was that they weren't worst enemies but they weren't best friends so we'll have to see how they get on duke only slapped snapped at him once <laughs> snapped at Bia once and Bia is staying at my mum's house tonight but i will be vlogging again this week and i'll show you what they get up to on wednesday so please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you then bye guys